Hello everyone, I am back with another video. This time it is going to be on the Minecraft Fortified reworked update. Um, basically this update is going to be useful for anyone using version 1.21 or higher. And especially for the next Minecraft update, the 1.21.20, they're going to be removing the Holiday Creator Features toggle, experimental toggle. But anyway, let's get started on all of the items. I've been meaning to make a, like an item showcase for a while, but I just haven't had time until now. So if we take a look, you see these are all of the armors and swords that you have in this add-on. There's a lot of them, like 10 sets I think. And these are the crafting materials. And here are some of the items that we have. Or the weapons. Okay guys, so let's start with the Reaper set, as it is one of the, the better sets, and it's also one of the newer ones. And I think a lot of people ask the question, how does the scythe work? So I'll show you guys in a little bit. So let's look at the armor set first. When you wear the entire set, you will do this nice explosion, and you're also unable to move for around 2 seconds. And now let's look at its ability. Basically what happens is, when you're looking at a mob, there will be, you know, they'll get uh, a few effects like weakness, slowness, and you will get speed uh, for the longer you look at it. And you see that aura around it? Basically what that means is that you can use the scythe ability on it. Right, so when you use your scythe and you hold down the right click or use button, you'll be able to use this uh, ability that does 30% of the HP, 20% depends on the level. And basically there are two ways you can do that. You can either hit them with the left click and they'll have this aura around them, or you can look at them for uh, around two or more seconds, then you can use this ability on them. So now let's take a look at the Guild Netherite set. So when you're wearing the full Gilded Netherite set, um, before you would get um, health boost and like two extra hearts, but with the uh, reworked version, you now get resistance instead, get resistance one. And also the knockback resistance has been, it has been added back because it stopped working like few months ago. So basically when you get hit by a mob, you just... You don't get knocked out. Now as for the uh, weapon or mace, um, I have renamed it to the Morning Star. And so if let's say you had a mace, like you had a diamond mace, it would no longer work. You will have to put this in the crafting table and turn it back into a morning star because um, it is completely reworked and I didn't want people to get it mixed up with the, you know, the new Minecraft maze that they added. But anyway, so what basically what, what has changed is that I switched the special ability and the normal ability. So now the normal ability, when you left click them, it does durability damage, which means it would break their armor faster, and if they have a shield, it would break that too. Or well, it actually break the weapon that they're holding. So, but for now it only works on players. So like, if I was to hit this husk, it wouldn't really do anything because of the limitations. Hopefully they're gonna fix that soon. But um, as for the right click ability, now it is a charge weapon. And what it does is it does a cooldown effect. I'm oh, sorry, no, it does a uh, it does a stun effect. Um, I can't really show you here, but you see it stuns them for 1.5 seconds, 1.25 seconds. Basically, what that means is that their the enemy is unable to use special abilities. So let's say you hit a player with this attack. Um, they would be they wouldn't be able to use the Morning Star ability for 
1.5 seconds. And like they wouldn't be able to use the spear ability or the hammer for that duration as well. So it's very good against players, I would say, and not so much against mobs. And also the um, Gilded Netherite armor is the that has the strongest or highest protection value in the game. I think it's like 30 something. Or maybe 28, I forgot. But you see like He's not doing that much damage to me. So as for the Aetherite set, when you wear the full set, yeah, you get um, 4 extra hearts and regeneration 1, and any um, any allies, or I guess wolves, maybe players when PvP is turned on. Right, so basically you have to, have to turn PvP off if you want this ability to work with other players. And basically it gives them regeneration. Like you see this dog right here. It's getting regeneration. Yeah, as for the Great Sword, this is basically the same as before. Um you can hit at most four entities in front of it. And all you have to do is do a left click attack. You know, you can just use this whenever you want as well. It's, it's a a very cool animation. Although you can accidentally hit your allies, so you should probably make sure your dogs are not in the way. But yeah, this, this is a left click ability. There is no right click. If you right click, it's not going to do anything. But yeah, let's say I have these guys here. And yeah, I'm able to hit many of them at the same time. Probably one of the like, f most fun items to use, just because you're able to just swing this randomly for no reason. Alright, now let's move on to the Warden set. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this one. Um, yeah, nothing has changed since uh, before the rework. You still, you know, you still can't see anything for the first 10 seconds. You get this darkness effect. And then, after 10 seconds, you're going to have night vision, and you cannot be affected by blindness and also darkness. It just doesn't work on you. Which is very nice when you're exploring like ancient cities or just mining in general. The see-through wall ability is still here. So, for example, if I was to do this, there's tusks on the other side. I can see them through the wall. And the staff? There isn't much of a difference, except for the fact that it now does more knockback than before. This guy is strong. But yeah, now it also targets um, like every mob. So once again, make sure your like dogs and stuff are not in the way, or else it might just damage them. And you really don't want to kill your own pets. So yeah, this armor set is definitely very useful when you're mining. When you're going for mining, and let's say you want to find caves, you can just you can see where the mobs. Are. So if there's a mob that you see. While you're mining, that means there must be a cave there because otherwise it can't spawn. In order to get this armor set, you have to kill the warden. You know, so you know this guy has like 500 HP and it does so much damage. So yeah, it's um, not easy to get. All right, now let's move on to the next set. This is the newest set that I have. And it's got a really cool ability when you wear the full set of armor. You can see these, you know, projectiles summoning above you. And basically what you can do is they follow you around. And when you crouch, they can you know, they go in a protective circle around you. So if there's a mob in the way, they'll just hit them. And you're basically you're protected. And what you can also do is 
here we can use the Nexus bow along with the armor. You can see it's special ability, it says it's armor linked, which means what happens is you can shoot got arrows. Now basically what you can do is you can shoot these guys and they get attacked by your projectiles. So this is very, you know, very cool, very useful against entities that are really far away. If I just wanted to shoot this guy for some reason, then you can just do that. And these guys, they can't miss unless they hit like a block in the way. So they're very, very cool. Okay, now let's move on to the next set, the Glowing Obsidian set. So this is probably one of the more mundane sets, I would say. Um, basically what it does is, if you, like, go to mid, you know, and you glow, it's called Glowing Obsidian for a reason. Um, but the cool thing about this is that it also works underwater. The glowing effect also works underwater. And also, when mobs are near you, you will get the strength one effect, depending on how many mobs there are. So right now there's one. So it's it's not very you know, it only lasts for like one second. But let's say there was five mobs. Or three. You see it lasts a little longer. And then if I just summon two more. Now it's permanent. Uh, as long as there are these mobs around. And as you can see the battle axe does this nice cleave attack. Probably one of the better weapons. Especially because you get speed while you're using this. So you can just use this just to catch up to someone. The strength that the armor gives you also applies to like any friends you have. So well, once again, it only works when PvP is off. So like if you have like two friends next to you, then they would also get the strength effect. And you can you know, kill the zombies together. Okay, now let's move on to the next set. The Phantom set. Now this set is pretty self-explanatory. As you can see, you just you go invisible when you um, stand still, or if you're walking. Um, but if you start jumping or running, then your invisibility will go away. So just make sure you either walk or you stand still. If for some reason you're in a high place and you want to get back down, you can also crouch. And when you crouch, you get slow falling. You can see. It's also very useful. Like, if I didn't want to take fall damage, I just crouch. And as for the special weapon... So basically... You can just whip them away. It only hits one target at a time. But it's very good at you know, stopping them from getting even close to you. But yeah, these um, these mobs can't see you until you attack them. No, yeah, well, that's, that's how invisibility works. And as for the next few sets, see the Emerald, Amethyst, and Copper? Um, they don't really have special effects, like the Emerald and Amethyst ones don't have any effects actually. They're just basically the same as Diamond, but the Emerald has, or they actually both have less protection, but Emerald has more durability and Amethyst has less durability. Um, but their special weapons still work. Okay, actually, let me talk about the Copper. Basically, what it does is if you're wearing or holding a Copper item, it will eventually oxidize. Um, it takes probably around 5 to 20 minutes, depending on the randomness, but let's see if let's see if we can get an oxidized. I, I don't think so. It takes a while. Let me just show off these items real quick. But yeah, as you can see, you know the items oxidized, so it goes from normal to exposed, and then weathered, and then oxidized. And once it gets to the oxidized level, you can see the items actually do more damage. 
and the armor actually has more protection but a lot less durability see as you can see my copper boots just oxidized now it's an exposed copper boot so yeah as long as you wear these or if you're holding like in a copper item you will be able to oxidize them and they will lose durability but gain other stats like protection maybe at mining speed or pickaxes and damage for swords but let's say you didn't want these to oxidize then what you can do is you can actually get a honeycomb and go to the crafting table and you can wax these items and once you wax them obviously they will not oxidize anymore let me just show you what these special items do so the emerald dagger you know it poisons them so when you hit them normally like what i just did there you would do three poison damage but if i do a critical attack okay. see how you took six damage there yeah so that's that's the good thing about this dagger is you can just hit them and run away and then hit them again and they'll just die obviously it's um, poison damage so it goes through armor now as for the spear this guy can go through multiple enemies and it does a nice strike attack as you can see you just hit like three of them there see and it does 20 damage so it's not enough to kill husks in one hit because they have like one protection value so it actually only does like 19 but if let's say you enchant this with ability damage then you will be able to one shot them and i'll show you what ability damage is in a few seconds let me show off the hammers first so the hammer just does an area attack in front of you actually a pretty big area so it's very good at just stopping them from coming toward you as you can see, I just killed only a few mobs. My hammer, you know, already has very low durability. So you just want to make sure, you know, you don't waste that durability. Same thing for the oxidized hammer, it just does one more damage. Because it is oxidized. Okay, now let me show you the ability damage enchant. Uh, let's see put this on the side and then you can't use it on a anvil you have to use it in the so let's say i want the ability damage one spear you can see in the text below before it did 20 damage now it does 22 and if i use ability damage two it does 24 and then 26 so let's do this and then let's apply the third one to the site. So, yeah, before it does 30% of their HP, now it does 40. So it is actually a pretty big increase in damage. But yeah, as you can see with this spear, you can now one-shot them. Before you can only two-shot them, now you can just kill them in one hit. But obviously if they have armor, you know, it wouldn't one shot them. Okay, so it doesn't show you how much percentage damage it did, but it does 40% of their current HP. So it is very strong against like the Ender Dragon, maybe like the Wither, if you're able to hit them. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, please make sure to like the video if you did like it. But thank you guys for watching and see you later.